Yeah. The wedding's in two weeks. Well, we, we needed to get it done before Jack starts the new job. If it were up to us, we'd get married right away, but Jack wants to wait until he gets the cast off his foot. <laughs> he broke the middle toe of his driving foot. <laughs> no, he's not fragile. If you must know, he kicked a copy of Shaw's Man and Superman. I'm telling my mother about the wedding. Oh, what did she say? She says you're lucky you didn't break your leg. But I, I mean about our getting married. Oh, Mom, Jack wants to know how you feel about us getting married. And? Oh, she's still crying. She's that upset? No, she's that happy. <laughs> what? what? No. Mom? Mom, I can't understand what you're saying. Cal calm down. Get some Kleenex. She's snorking. Snorking? Yeah, yeah. Mom, I'll call you back. Yeah. What's snorking? It sounds terrible. Oh, oh, you know, when, when you cry so much that your nose runs and you try to breathe it back in. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, the word of the demonstration. So did you ask your mom about officiating at the wedding? She can't. In fact, she can't even attend. Oh no! That's terrible! This whole meeting's about to turn into a schnork fest. Did she say why? Oh, my sister Shirley is pregnant. She's due in two weeks. Mom has to watch her other kids while she's in the hospital. Well, maybe we can set up a Zoom meeting so she can watch the wedding. Oh, we'll have to do that for my other sisters. Goodness and mercy. Them too. Both of them? Why? They're pregnant too. They don't want to travel. I know the pandemic's been going on for a while, but there must be something else your sisters could have done to pass the time. Don't worry. We've still got two weeks to find someone else to officiate. In the meantime, I thought it would be romantic to hold the ceremony in the same place we had our first date. Terry's restaurant? I don't know. Is salmonella romantic? It is if it's our salmonella. Do you have a wedding ring? Yeah, sure, but I don't wear it anymore. Not the one from your first wedding. One that you will give to me for our wedding. Oh, well, sure. Of course, I mean... No. What size do you wear? Six and a half. Something simple, please. <laughs> have you selected your best man? You know, it's kind of tough to choose since I don't have any friends or relatives. How about your nephew? Oh, Lin-Manuel, he'd be perfect. I, I don't know how to reach him, though. Now that he's a working actor, he has an unlisted number. I might have to go through his agent. I'll handle it. What are you doing? You're posting on Facebook that we're casting a young leading man type to be the best man. Will it work? I heard you were casting for Gore Vidal's The Best Man. Not exactly. If this is a musical version, I can do it. With a bit of makeup, I can pass for older. Actually, I'm looking for a best man for my wedding. Is that anti Nez? I didn't know you were getting married. Yes, and I've never been happier. Does Uncle Jack know? He really likes you a lot. Please let him down easy. Lin-Manuel, it's me. I know it's tough to recognize me without a tie. No, Aunt Inez. Uncle Jack is here. He's found you out. No, I, I've been here the whole time. How, do you, how did you not see me? Like most actors on Zoom, I only look at myself. Well, I'm the one who's marrying Aunt Inez. I'm going to be your new uncle. You're already my old uncle. I mean, when I marry Aunt Inez, I get to be... Oh, right. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. What do you have to be nervous about? I'm the one who has the hard role. Best man? Do you know how hard it is to play a superlative? Does that mean you'll do it? Of course I will. It's a gig, isn't it? What do I have to do other than summon my inner Pacino? Just stand next to me at the wedding and hand me the ring. Excellent. Perfect. Yes. I see it all now. One problem. Uh, what's my motivation? If Jack doesn't give me the ring, I'll cry. And that's bad. Terrible. She comes from a long line of schnorkers. What part of Europe is that? I'll send you a map. Do you need a copy of my headshot? No, it will be a small wedding. I have a small headshot. Then that will be perfect. Remember, two weeks from today. Two weeks from today! Got it. Thanks, Lynn. Inez will send you the address, since she's better at reaching you than I am. Bye, Uncle Jack and Auntie Inez. I'm off to practice. Hark! 
I hear the cannons roar. Are you sure you want to use Terry's restaurant for the ceremony? See, I want this to be special for you. Beautiful music as you walk down the aisle. Good food for the reception. But it's going to be so small. Just us, Lynn manuel my girls. It's sort of like we're eloping. It's romantic. Yeah, until you try the main course, at which point your stomach's eloping. Are Baby June and Louise excited? They're helping me buy a dress. Baby June chose one suitable for a Disney princess, and Louise likes the one that makes me look like a hooker. Is there a compromise? Tinkerbell. I'm sure you'll find a dress that works. Do you know who's going to be the best dressed bride in two weeks? I know, Jack. Thank you.